hospital, sometimes when I go to the hospital, I get an IV. And normally I get it right here or right here. And it hurts really bad. Hi, I'm Mary Bentley Lamar, founder and executive director for the Sickle Cell Association of New Jersey. Sickle cell disease is an inherited blood disorder that affects the red blood cells. Normal blood cells are soft and round, they flow easily throughout the body, no problem. Sickle cells are hard and sticky, they're shaped like the crescent moon, shaped like that old farm instrument sickle, which is how they got the name. They lose oxygen and they can become hard and sticky and clump up anywhere throughout the body, cause excruciating pain, and it has the potential to cause life-threatening complications such as stroke. Last time I went to the hospital, my pain was right here. And they gave me IV fluid, gave me an x-ray, they also gave me medicine and, and then I got better. I would like everyone to know um, how it affects her and it affects our family. A lot of times people aren't aware of the sickle cell disease and how severe it is. Um, Sana is in a lot of pain often and as a parent it's hard for me to determine what it is that I, sh I can do about you know with her or about her pain and um, taking her to the hospital sometimes or you know watching her get, get an IV or be in a crisis is hard for me. Sickle cell trait is not an illness. People with sickle cell trait are generally healthy, but it's important to know your trait status so that when you get ready to start a family, you can go into it making a more informed decision. I knew that my parents told me that I had a trait, but the doctor said it was it's nothing, you don't need any medication, but with the disease, there comes pain, there comes crisis, and it's a lot of things. I really believe that making people aware of the sickle cell disease will make everyone more positive about the things that we can do to help others become aware of sickle cell disease. Sickle cell disease affects people of all ethnic backgrounds, although primarily it affects those of African descent. Sickle cell disease can be found in Hispanics, Asians, Caucasians of Mediterranean descent, Native Americans. It affects many ethnic groups. In the United States, it's estimated that over 90,000 people have sickle cell disease. In New Jersey, it's estimated that over 3,000 are affected by sickle cell disease. However, that number is probably low because that particular study did not include Asians and whites, and they are affected by sickle cell disease too. It's estimated by the State of New Jersey Health and Senior Services that 75 babies are identified with sickle cell disease every year. I established this organization on September 1st of 2009 to help families and individuals who suffer from sickle cell disease. I was very fortunate to get a board, a great board of directors to come on as volunteers, in addition to many from the community who have come together to help make things better for those who suffer from sickle cell disease. We deal with their non-medical needs and we partner with healthcare professionals. many organizations who help those with sickle cell disease. I'm so excited about our programs and services that we offer through the Sickle Cell Association of New Jersey. For example, we have the Teen Spokesperson and Poster Child Program, where we select a child and a teen spokesperson each year to raise awareness about sickle cell disease throughout the state of New Jersey. My name is Amanda Salazar. I am the teen spokesperson for the Sickle Cell Association of New Jersey. I am a bone marrow recipient and I was cured from sickle cell. The most important thing about sickle cell is you should educate yourself. You should know about the disease. You should know everything about it, from the medication to what goes on, how your body handles it, and you should know yourself and be aware of the signs for crisis. You need to know your limits. Uh, education, I can't stress it enough. People need to be aware of it. Uh, school nurses, 
a family, friends, everybody should be aware about it. Everybody who you are with should be aware about it. It's really important. I'm Sana and I'm a sickle cell poster child. I was very excited about her being the poster child because um, knowing about ScanJ and what they stand for and the things that they do, they have so many different, different events, things that you can get knowledgeable about, people that don't know, they can become aware. So with ScanJ, um, becoming part of ScanJ this year, I really believe in ScanJ helping others learn more about the sickle cell disease. Um, with my daughter being part of it, I know that I'm going to get more opportunities to spread the word, tell people about the disease, how, can they, how they can get more aware and the things that they can do. Another program that we do is called a Sickle Celebration. And at that event, we bring families together where they learn about sickle cell disease through workshops. We have activities for the children. This past year, we partnered with Jersey Explorer Children's Museum and had a great event at picnic and activities at the museum where we uh, raised awareness and um, gave educational materials, too, to the families who are dealing with sickle cell disease. We do emergency grants for families that uh, run into some difficulty with finances. We have coordinated social services for um, a family that was nearly homeless and we coordinated that through three different um, sickle cell agencies and the state of New Jersey and a couple of other uh, state agencies. So it was important that the Sickle Cell Association of New Jersey be there for that family and for other families who are dealing with social needs, emergency social needs, because oftentimes we're called upon to find those resources that will help that individual situation, whatever it is. We have a program called the Sickle Cell Sabbath where we partner with faith-based institutions to raise awareness about sickle cell disease. We may have a blood drive or, or do a health fair for that church or simply provide them with materials. One of our main um, educational materials is our brochure, the uh, Scanja brochure. We say Scanja because that's uh, S-C-A-N-J, that's our nickname. And we provide them with this brochure that has information on what sickle cell disease is, what sickle cell trait is, and some of our programs and services. In addition to that educational brochure, we have a book that we have um, received a grant to be able to give that book out freely, and it's called Hope and Destiny, the latest revised edition, and it's a wonderful resource for families who are dealing with sickle cell disease. We have a myriad of uh, materials and programs, too, from the American Red Cross, whom we've also partnered with, and we partner with them for the sickle cell blood drives in honor of Dr. Charles Drew, who is deceased now, but he was a medical pioneer, and he paved the way for blood banks back during World War II. The Sickle Cell Association of New Jersey has taken me to different places throughout the state to talk to people, to really sit down and talk to them about sickle cell, to explain things to them, to educate them, to show them a different way of life, that it doesn't have to be uh, a pity party, that they can educate themselves and they can, can get control of this disease. And it's so important. It has really helped me a lot to realize how important it is and that support group makes a difference. Just having a group and being part of others, just talking about it, it definitely helps you. you know, it helps you to understand the disease, some of the things that you can do, some of the things that they don't tell you about. Please support the Sickle Cell Association of New Jersey by volunteering your time or by donating funds. Thank you for your support.